Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm sharing a quick but important fix I came across while building a PC for my girlfriend. The build went great, until I turned it on. Everything powered up, but there was no display. The fans were spinning, the lights were on, but the screen stayed black. On the motherboard, the ASUS Prime X570 Pro, the white and yellow QLEDs stayed on. Now just to be clear, white can mean either boot or DRAM, depending on the motherboard model, and yellow is usually GPU related. On this board, it looked like both memory and GPU could be the issue. I started troubleshooting with the RAM, removed one stick, swapped the slots, tried different combinations, but still no display. So I moved on to the GPU. There were no red warning LEDs on the RX 7800 XT, which usually means it was getting enough power. But just to be sure, I took it out completely. I plugged in an old passive GT710 graphics card I had lying around just for testing, and guess what? The system booted perfectly. I went straight into the BIOS. First thing I noticed, the BIOS was almost two years old. So I used ASUS Easy Flash to update to the latest version. That went smoothly. Then I went into advanced mode, PCI subsystem settings, where I saw two settings that were disabled by default, above 4G decoding and resize bar support. These need to be enabled for many modern GPUs like the RX 7800 XT to work properly on older motherboards. Once those settings were enabled, I saved and shut the system down, removed the GT710, reinstalled the RX 7800 XT, powered it back on, and it worked. No more QLEDs and full display output. Now keep in mind, this fix worked for me, but that doesn't mean it will work for everyone. If your GPU is actually defective or has a power issue, this won't help. But if your system is similar and you're getting no display with the 7800 XT, this might save you a lot of stress before returning anything. I hope this video helps you out. If it did, let me know in the comments or share your own experience if you ran into something similar. And if you enjoy PC builds, fixes, and real-world tips, feel free to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss the next one.